and uh, it gives me great pleasure to be here for this graduation day and I must thank Sister Principal, Sister Secretary and all those who made this possible for me to come here and be a part of this very special day in the life of Stella Marvis College. Please accept my congratulations, especially for the outgoing graduates who are present here, who will soon be receiving their degrees. I also would like to congratulate their parents, especially the teachers who have made it possible for these young ladies to go out into the world as graduates, educated graduates, educated graduates with a sense of purpose. So I congratulate all of you as a community because the world is in desperate need of a set of young people with new ideas, but not only new ideas, but also with the knowledge and the wherewithal to take those ideas forward. So therefore, let me place before you, first of all, my congratulations. This is a milestone in your journey of life. And I'm addressing my dear young graduates. As you move along, this is an important point in your life when you can look back at the years that have been, when you can look forward to the future that you must create but the past and the future are linked as, as you are here on this auspicious day I wish that you will think about the past that you will never ever forget what brought you to this point in your lives. And if you look back, you will see that your parents and your teachers have given you not only knowledge and sustenance and support, physical, emotional, spiritual, but they have also given you something on which no value can be placed. You give a bag of gold to somebody, you give a bag of diamonds to somebody, but what your parents and your teachers have given you is worth far more than all those bags of gold or all those bags of diamonds or all the riches which the world can get. So therefore, at this moment, silently now, you must bow your heads down and thank your parents and your teachers for what they have given you. The moral instruction and the values that they have given each one of you is going to stand you in good stead. When you face challenges, when you face opposition, when you face obstacles, you will remember that what your parents and your teachers have given you, coupled with the knowledge that you have got, will help you overcome 
those obstacles and challenges. When you look back at the past, all what you have gone through, all what you have received should strengthen each one of you. We do not know what your future holds, but you must know that whatever your future holds, you must resolve to do your best. Down Mount Road, there is a small school. It's called Christ Church High School. And that is the school where I study. Today, I'm the principal of St. Stephen's College, one of the most illustrious colleges in this country, known all over the world, with an illustrious set of alumni. But if I am the principal of that illustrious college, it is what my teachers and my parents had made me. In the same way, each one of you, you have a role to play in the future. We do not know where your future will take you. It could be within the government. It could be within the national government. It could be within a small school in some remote part of maybe the state, maybe the country, maybe the world. Wherever you are, irrespective of where you are placed, you must do your best. That is something that my school taught me. My school taught me that wherever we go, we should do our best. And if you look at our country, if you look at the world, you will find that there is great need for love, for peace, for progress. And these are three things that each one of you must resolve to steadfastly follow. When you stand on the threshold of your future today, you must understand that you are equipped. You're not going into the world bereft of knowledge, with no skills and no facilities to take you forward. The first thing which comes to my mind is your knowledge. You have studied all these years and what have you studied for? In a few moments from now, each one of you will receive your degree. Certainly, it's very precious. But that is only, it is only a symbol of something greater which each one of you possesses. And that is the knowledge, the abilities, and the skills with which you have been equipped. And you have been equipped so that you will take all that knowledge, you will take all that skill, couple it with your own creativity, with the ideas that you have, and go and make a world which is far, far better than what the world is today. That is something we as your teachers, your parents as those who stood by you through thick and thin, that we expect from each one of you. St. Stephen's College is known for its alumni. You think about the many people, you think about the 
head of the World Bank, you think about the Chief Justice of India, you think about the Governor of the Reserve Bank of India, you think about half a dozen ministers, many of them came from St. Stephen's College. But one of the things, actually two of the things which drives these people are the qualities of excellence and service. While they were all in college, they were told, like my school told me, to go and do their best. They put that phrase into one word and called it excellence. If you look at those who are leading the world today from St. Stephen's College, you will find that one of the qualities that they put forth is the quality of excellence. But excellence not for themselves. Excellence not only for their small circle. Excellence for the community, for the country, and for the world that they work in. So therefore, I'm going to share that idea with all of you. When you go out, you must carry with you all the good that you have. And you must share that good with the rest of the world. You may not understand it, but each one of you, you are so privileged. You are so, so privileged. You are privileged because you have been educated in one of the finest institutions in this state, in this country. The efforts that your teachers and your parents have put in is not common. Not many young people have the privilege of having such a fine set of teachers or a set of committed parents. You have that. Now what are you going to do with all of that? Are you going to content yourself and say, I've got a graduation certificate. I've got it all. I'm a graduate. You flash it around, you flash it around and be content with that? No. That is not enough. That is not why your teachers and your parents supported you. Your parents and your teachers supported you so that you will do much more than what they have done for you. You must certainly give back to your alma mater. You must certainly love and respect your parents. But you must also give to the world all what you have got and more. I notice that Stella Maris College has got several things going for it. I heard Sister Principal's report and I was very happy to know the many progressive things which are happening in this college. You've got tie-ups with some of illustrious uh, institutions across the world in Malaysia, in Singapore, in Canada, all of that is not just to state it in an annual report. All of that is for you to take it forward. The teachers and your parents can give you only that much, but it is up to you, each one of you now, to take it forward. I do not want to take much more time but when I say what I'm going to say now, I know that your parents and your teachers are with me when I say these things. What do we wish for you? We wish for you the best of everything. And we wish the best not so much for yourselves, but that you will carry what we have given you into the world. Because the world desperately needs what you can give. You have been brought up 
with a sense of dignity. Do not lose your dignity. You have been brought up with a sense of discipline. Please make use of that discipline. All of us are aware of the reason of the recent uh, collision between two aeroplanes in Japan. One of the reasons why Japan is a unique country in the world was demonstrated when that crisis happened. When that crisis happened, that passenger aircraft, in 90 seconds, every passenger on that aircraft got down in an orderly manner to safety. Can you imagine that happening in our country? It happened because of discipline. It's not that we have not been taught discipline. I know a great leader from this state who taught about, who spoke about, who encouraged Kadamai, Kanniyam, Kattupade, duty, diligence, and discipline. Your teachers and your parents encourage you to follow those. And discipline makes a great nation. But we still have to get there. We are not Japan as yet, but we can be. And that is where you must, with your personal example, lead us. So therefore, we wish that you will be disciplined in your personal and your professional lives. So therefore, we wish you success. Success not for yourselves alone, but for the companies that you're going to work with, for the places and organizations that you are going to head, and success in your personal lives as well. God bless each one of you. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much.